I am Inez Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and in the previous tutorial we had a look on how to edit our video together. If you haven't seen that video be sure to check that one out because today we're going to take a look how to add transitions to those videos, four different transitions in particular. So let's open up Premiere and get started. Alright, so here we are in Premiere Pro and let's have a look at transitions. So we have a clip here um, that I assembled of just a horse and another horse with that same horse and again that one horse with the other horse that was actually in the first shot so the first horse <laughs> all right now uh, so let's have a look at transitions right now actually one of the best and most professional uh, transitions is just a simple cut so just try to find the perfect timing to cut your scene and okay this scene isn't perfectly cut or something like that but just cutting your frame going C click delete that part or just go going to the end here and just press W to uh, get rid of something and then just uh, put something behind it on the exact timing that you want is just very fine it doesn't have to be all these fancy things here I'm not sure what we all have 3D motion uh, page peel like all of these transitions and I only use one and that's the cross dissolve um, apart from that I don't really use anything else sometimes I try something with the morph cut but apart from that all of these transitions are mostly garbage except if you have a really good reason of using these these transitions aren't going to help your professionalism in your video so just a simple cut can get you a long way Another one is of course the dissolve, so the cross dissolve, which is uh, well very simple. You can put it in between a clip, so just drag it, and if you're going to play it, it's going to dissolve from the one scene to the other one. You can drag it out to make it longer, like so. And if you right click, you can set it as a selected as, and if you and if you right click you can set selected as default transition which it should already be but if you have a default transition and you select two clips and you hold control and press D it's going to add that automatically right over here so you don't have to drag it over and over again if you just hold one clip uh, you press control D it's only going to do it at the beginning uh, but if you have a clip that's completely solo and you would do control D it's going to do it at the beginning and the end so depending on what you're selecting um, it's going to give you that result so that's also pretty cool and also if you don't have any clips up front it's just going to dissolve from black to uh, your image so sometimes this is nice especially for slow cuts and slow paces or to show that uh, a long time goes by um, depending on the situation again this could be a cool transition uh, but I barely use it. Another one uh, which is really cool is actually playing with sp if you click on one of these clips and you go over somewhere like so uh, like right over here and you cut in between here by pressing C and clicking on your clip uh, if we do the same thing for the clip afterwards so this clip maybe um, right over here cut in between here we're going to click on the first clip and we are going to speed and duration scale it up up to something like 600 and just do the same thing for the other clip also speed it up like 600 and then just click in between these clips and then you can uh, click backspace and that's going to uh, close these gaps and if we're going to play this we can get some uh, speed action going on and of course here it's a little bit too long so I'm going to shorten this and of course I think it's a little bit too slow so I'm going to speed it up even more and then just um, fill them in again like this could be a cool trick especially for like fashion kind of edits where you just speed up a little frame and of course you have to do it on, this, on the correct pacing and just look into your clips to make it look beautiful uh, but this really gives a cool style to your shots so definitely playing with speed and cuts can get you a long way as well then lastly but not least uh, something that I really prefer to work with especially on slow paces um, weddings party uh, party films all these kind of cool uh, short tension films 
I like to use light leaks. If you don't know what light leaks actually are, uh, that's right here. We have a link to that video as well. So I will put a link in the description where I talk about light leaks. These are all overlays that you can use in between your cuts. And this is one of our packs that you can actually buy on our website if you want to. But if you don't want to buy something, you can go and get the free light leak pack, which includes five samples and the other one includes a lot more. Um, let me check how many exactly um, well I thought it was 100 elements in this pack so go and check out the website uh, all the information will be there but you can use one of these and if we're going to import this I'm just going to import this folder open it up and check all my light leaks and actually you can go icon view and open up that folder and let it load for a bit we can see here I have some blue overlays, but I want to go like a little bit warmer. So film burn, maybe film burn might be something that I'm looking for. So maybe uh, let's check one of these. And if we are going to play this, you can see what it's actually doing. So it's just some light that's entering the lens through the camera and gives this nice burn. And if we're going to select our video only, and we're going to drag this on top of um, our two clips, that are separated but if we're going to the middle of our clip and see that the complete frame is filled by this overlay and we go to click on that film burn go to effect controls and go to opacity and change the blending mode to a screen you will see that it's going to give you a really nice result so let's play this so that's something really cool I'm actually going to press um, give this in and out points here I'm going to render my sequence and there we go so this gives a really cool warm look to our video so right on the bright spot it's going to uh, transition so you can actually use a thumb other uh, other examples here so if we're going to open this up and just try something different um, maybe something more yeah a little bit faster you can actually make it start sooner so you're going to close this down screen And right here it's kind of intense so we're going to use this one and drag it over to that cut and again now we have a different kind of transition so really cool you can also change the colors if you want to so it's a really cool trick to bring some life to your video if you want to do transitions but just make sure that you don't overuse it because anything that you use if you overuse something because you just learned a new technique um, yeah it's going to uh, actually work the opposite way so if you're going to use it on every single cut uh, people are going to get bored of this so you have to play around with all these cuts and just try to tune them together and just create some nice videos all right so that's it for this video if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and definitely link me up some of your edits that you learned through this video if you liked this video give it a like also subscribe to the channel for more and thank you so much for watching goodbye